This is lesson 7.3, Similar Triangles. Your objectives are to identify similar triangles using the AA similarity postulate and the SSS and SAS similarity theorems, and to use similar triangles to solve problems. Identify similar triangles. Here are three ways to show that two triangles are similar. Angle-angle similarity, when two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle. Side-side-side similarity, when the measures of the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional. And side-angle-side similarity, when the measures of two side lengths of one triangle are proportional to the measures of two corresponding side lengths of the other triangle and the included angles are congruent. So just remember, when you're talking about angles, they have to be congruent. When you're talking about side lengths, they have to be proportional. Number two. For this one, each triangle has two side lengths given and the angle between them. It looks like we're going to see if side angle side works. We know that the angles are congruent. Now check the sides. The longer side on the left is 36. It matches the longer side on the right, which is 24. And the smaller sides are 20 and 18. So let's see if those side lengths are proportional. 36 over 24 for the longer sides equals 20 over 18 for the shorter sides. If those reduce to the same thing, then we have side angle side similarity. However, 36 over 24 is 3 halves. 20 over 18 is 10 ninths. Those are not the same. They're not proportional. Therefore, these triangles are not similar because the sides are not proportional. Number three. Here we have two triangles, but I don't have any angles or sides marked. But I do have parallel lines here. And I know with parallel lines I have different types of congruent angle pairs. If those two lines are parallel, then angle R and angle LST are congruent because they're corresponding angles. And angle U and angle SLT are congruent because they're corresponding angles. Always check for a congruent angle pair when you have parallel lines. Well, that's two pairs of congruent angles. These triangles are similar because of angle-angle similarity. For the big triangle, angle RUT, that's similar to, match the vertices up properly, R matches S, U matches L, and T matches T. Since two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. Number six. We have two triangles with all three pairs of sides. Let's see if we have side, side, side similarity. Match up the side lengths now. The long side on the left, 40, matches the long side on the right, 25. The middle side, 32, matches the middle side, 20. And the short side, 24, matches the short side, 15. Now set up your proportion and see if it works. 40 on the left matches 25 on the right. 32 on the left matches 20 on the right. And 24 on the left matches 15 on the right. If those are equal, then the three pairs of sides are proportional and the triangles are similar. Each of those fractions reduces to 8 fifths. So they're proportional. Yes, these triangles are similar. Triangle GHI on the left is similar to triangle G matches Q, H matches R, and I matches S because of side-side-side similarity.
Remember when you're checking for triangle similarity. Angles have to be congruent and sides have to be proportional. Similar triangles can also be used to find measurements. Set up proportions and you can solve for missing values. Find each measure. Number one, find the measure of segment JL. Well, I need to match up corresponding sides so I can make a proportion. 13 on the left is between the one arc angle and the right angle. That matches segment JL, which is X, which is between the one arc angle and the right angle. 10 on the left is between the right angle and the angle not marked. And that matches 20 on the right, which is between the right angle and the angle not marked. You always have to organize it and make sure that the sides that you line up match properly based on the angles that they're between. So, 13 over X equals 10 over 20. That proportion is organized. Left over right equals left over right. Now cross multiply and solve. 10 times X is 10X equals 13 times 20 which is 260. Divide both sides by 10 and X is 26. And since segment JL is X, then segment JL is 26. Match up the side lengths, set up your proportion, and cross multiply and solve. Number four, find the measure of segment BC. Well, I need to match up the corresponding sides here. However, I need to think a little bit before I do. How do the sides match up? Well, I see the parallel lines there, and I know when I have parallel lines cut by a transversal, alternate interior angles are congruent, like angle A and angle D. There's another pair, angle C and angle E. So now I can use the way those angles are sitting and match up my sides. 30 on the left, which is between the 1 arc and 2 arc, matches 60 on the right. X on the left, which is between the 2 arc and the angle not marked, matches 38.6, which is between the 2 arc and the not marked angle. Now I can make my proportion. 30 over 60 equals X over 38.6. Left over right equals left over right. Cross multiply and solve. So X equals 19.3. Segment BC is X. So the measure of segment BC is 19.3. Just be careful on ones like that, because it's easy to match the sides up the wrong way. Make sure that the sides match according to the way the angles are. The heights of two vertical posts are 2 meters and 0.45 meters. When the shorter post casts a shadow that is 0.85 meters long, what is the length of the longer post's shadow to the nearest hundredth? Well, let's draw this. We have a 2 meter post and a 0.45 meter post. The 0.45 meter post has a shadow that's 0.85 meters long, and I don't know how long this shadow is of the 2 meter post. If I close those up, that gives me two similar triangles. I can set up a proportion, organizing it, post over post equals shadow over shadow. The left post is 2, the right post is 0.45.
The left shadow is x. The right shadow is 0.85. Now cross multiply and solve. 0.45 times x is 0.45x equals 2 times 0.85 which is 1.70. Divide both sides by 0.45 and x is approximately 3.78 meters. Draw it, organize it, set up your proportion, and cross multiply.